how to sell a carbon credit. Last week, I told you it was uh, our highest number of signups ever by, by double. And yesterday, 160 people showed up to learn how to sell a carbon removal credit. It was so cool. There were three founders up on stage being interviewed by Adina. Uh, all this great stuff came up. And my key takeaway from it was befriend your buyers. I was here, hearing all these teams talk about, you know, you have to build these relationships for a long time. You have to kind of navigate through these different organizations. You have to empower somebody to, to go pitch your company to their company. And, you know, I was thinking about a, a title for this newsletter and we're, we're talking about, you know, meet buyers and build a network with buyers. And it didn't really, you know, it's, it's not about just getting to know these people and, and, and meeting them once. It's about, as these teams were saying, you know, building a relationship befriending your buyers. And so that's where I landed with this was befriend your buyers. Um, again, you're, you're on this, you're on this journey together. And when we talk about risk takers at air miners, you know, we, we point towards the founders and entrepreneurs who are starting companies, also people that are, that are joining the companies and even people who are buying carbon because for them uh, in their own careers, they're working on really, you know, turning these giant battleships within their order, their own organization of, how do you get a big organization to make commitments to pull carbon from the sky? So, you know, I look across that that group and I just see risk takers everywhere throughout uh, throughout air miners. So I recommend everybody go and watch the watch the replay there. Uh, you know, you're, you, as part of your business in carbon rule, you're going to need to figure out how to sell a carbon credit. So go listen to the uh, the, the perspectives from from the founders that have uh, that have done it. Uh, you know. Meeting buyers and and befriending buyers is is key. It's you know what does that mean? It means uh, keeping them posted about what you're up to, telling what you're up to, hearing about what their concerns are, either about your technology or about carbon removal in general. Everybody's always trying to pitch buyers. Uh, you know, it's like, hey, buy my stuff. But if you take a step back and you really think about befriending buyers. That's that's the key. Asking what concerns they have about whether it's your company, whether it's the carbon rule industry more broadly. Uh, so you know, listening to that that uh, panel can be really good for that. You can ask other founders what buyers they've connected to and, and get connections there. Uh, another w great way to befriend buyers is through the Airminers Launchpad Accelerator. We've built this engine to help startups and buyers befriend each other in a way. Um, so we have we have two ways that that happens in the accelerator. One is uh, one of our workshops called "How to Sell a Carbon Credit," which is what the public event was kind of riffed on. We we're like, "Wow, we we do these these workshops in private. They're really effective. What if we did this in public?" Um, and so the public version, 160 people showed up, but the private version is part of the, the accelerator program. And instead of having startup founders come and tell you about how they sold carbon credits. We have buyers come in. We already have that, but we also have buyers come in. So we have Stacy from Shopify. We've had Joanna and the team from uh, Frontier and Stripe. Um, you can come in and hear their stories about you know why their organization is doing this and even why why they personally are doing it. We also get uh, marketplaces uh, and, and and verifiers that come in like um, Carbon Future, uh, Pro Dot Earth. They come to this how to sell a carbon credit workshop, and it's just. It's just one of them per, per session, but the teams, the startup teams get to ask them like, you know, what are your concerns about carbon removal? What are your concerns about the particular vertical that I'm, that I'm working in? We tell teams not to pitch the, the buyers because it's not, it's not really the point. The point is, again, to, to befriend the buyers, to get to know, get to know them, let them get to know you. It's again, this is, we're all in this together. Getting to gigaton scale carbon dioxide removal means we need to, uh, we need to unlock risk takers of, of all sorts across this emerging industry. Um, you know, I think about Shopify in particular, uh, Stacy has come to uh, the Air Miners Launchpad session several times now. And it's just so cool to hear about her personal story and, and how, you know, what's important for Shopify about making these purchases. And it's just, it, it comes across in a way that just, it, it doesn't, it's, you wouldn't find in a press release, you wouldn't find some of these announcements, but it's that, you know, Shopify's core business is they they help merchants, what they call merchants, I think they call merchants, what I call merchants, uh, like people who are starting small businesses grow into big businesses. And, and kind of when you think about Shopify, it's like, oh, somebody's selling like CDs or a t-shirt company or like, you know, kind of cool stuff. 
But then that's why they see that same journey in carbon removal. They look at, you know, at, at these early stage drug companies and just like, wow, this is cool. Like they're helping uh, these small businesses, these ideas for businesses, these dream businesses grow big. Anyway, that's what I mean about befriending uh, buyers. It's just like the people who are in carbon removal or we're all in it for kind of similar reasons and a similar story. It's all something new to us. It's all seems like it's this great big change that really needs to happen. And fundamentally, we're all, we're all just trying to figure out what is the change that we want to see in the world that we can that we can make. Uh, and for founders, for startup founders, it's creating a company. And for buyers, it's getting their company to, to purchase carbon credits and to support early stage buyers. So if you want to come start to befriend buyers, a great way to do that is to sign up for, for Amazon's Launchpad. Um, we do also have an opportunity for once the teams go through the whole program, at the end, we have a uh, buyer's demo day. And so buyer's demo day is when you actually get to pitch uh, the buyers. You get to tell them all about what you're doing and why they should buy from you and all that sort of stuff. It's all, you're all, you know, you're, you're really set up at that point. You've, you've talked to many buyers uh, by then. You might have already sold your first carbon credits at that point. Uh, but buyer demo day is really this, um, this key kind of end point for, for Airrunners Launchpad. Uh, we've got one coming up uh, next week. If you know any buyers, if you know anybody in your network that's thinking about buyers, we limit it to people that have committed to buying at least $50,000 of carbon credits in, in 2023. Um, but hey, if, if you know somebody that's really thinking strongly about it, uh, you can send this link. Um, so that's that's Buyer's Demo Day. And uh, like, I, like I mentioned for the Airrunners workshops, it's a similar crowd, but it's, it's, it's broader. So we get all you know marketplaces we get the buyers we get the consortia um and so i, I mean by consortia is companies like uh organizations like frontier or south pole they'll be at buyers demo day but we'll also see their members at buyers demo day so frontier and and south pole are these consortiums that include uh stripe shopify mckenzie bcg um swiss re all these organizations that have gotten together to form these these buyers consortium and so not only the consortia representatives there, but the buyers are too. Um, and so they can they can hear out your companies. And we like to call it the, the kiloton club is there. So it's everybody that's that's already purchased more than a thousand tons of carbon removal credits. Uh, so we get the kiloton club together and, and you can come uh, you can come pitch to them. So we also see, uh, of course, people that uh, aren't on the radar. Uh, you know, I'm just looking through like the signup list and it's like, huh. I didn't know this company was thinking about uh, buying carbon removal credits. Um, you know, big Fortune 500 companies that, you know, maybe you'll read about at some point that when they make some big announcement, but at least they're, they're showing up at Buyer's Demo Day because again, this idea of befriending your buyers, befriending your partners, um, that's that's the key. So starting these relationships early, buyers are doing it too. They're coming out and they're, they're working to meet startups and figure out how this stuff, uh, this stuff works. So uh, go check out the recording from How to Sell a Carbon Credit. Uh, if you want to get the behind the scenes look, meeting buyers and, and befriending buyers and, and then working on getting yourself to buyer's demo day, uh, we've got the Air Myers Accelerator closes. Uh, the, the applications for the next batch close on February 10th. Applications are always open. They're just, it's like, um, whatever it's called, like a uh, rolling application, I guess. So the next one is February 10th. If you apply February 11th, you're going to get kicked forward to the, to the summer batch. So get in by February 10th if you're uh, you know, if you're at the point where you're, you want to get a boost on your traction with buyers, uh, figuring out how to pull together your, your science data, how to figure out your unit economics. Those are things that we're really good at, um, as a, as a, as a team, as a, as a program. So, um, check that out. And this is, uh, this is the part where I say it's go time because it is, it's 2023. We've been talking about carbon rule for a long time. It's time to take action. It's time to really go and remove megatons, kilotons gigatons, tetratons, adds a lot. It's probably causing an ice age, but like time to remove carbon. It's go time.